character of the only one that is worthy, just like in Revelation chapter 5. You'd say, preacher, let's move on through this. Why should we? Until we are certain about the one that has the authority to take the title deed of the earth and unloose the seals thereof and everyone that's been living on it, ungrateful, unappreciative tenants that have taken his blessings for granted, he was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But to as many as did receive him, to them he gave the power to become the sons of God. That's John chapter 1, verses 10 through 12. He has all authority, all power. Every judicial act is in his hands to come back and take control of the earth. 